I've completely run out of negative roasts for Microsoft and their whole side of gaming. I spend a lot of time talking about them on the channel, usually for the negative things they've done to piss off their fans, but it still doesn't change my overall respect for their past work and their effort to at least try to be a good competitor in the current gaming market. Whether it's through affordable gaming subscription deals, cheaper consoles, or even running a monopoly on the gaming industry, Microsoft and Xbox have built a legacy that's impacted many people positively and shifted the way that we know gaming. So. With that being said, let's talk about how they fucked up this time. Now, as I said, Microsoft is in a pretty desperate state right now as far as their public view and, you know, their financials behind the scenes. They've had bad game releases, their own CEO admitting defeat, and they even released a fridge with an exterior shape of an Xbox. Okay, th that's not part of it, I just, I just think that's really dumb. And the result of all of this is the ongoing criticism from Xbox users on the company's poor job of handling their affairs. So right now, every move that Xbox makes has to be an attempt to regain the trust and positive light from the public so that they can continue holding the weight as a household name in the gaming industry. But desperate times kind of comes with desperate measures is usually the saying, so it was recently announced by the team of Xbox of a possible plan for their games in the future that had the opposite response they were likely hoping for from the fans. Sarah Bond, a corporate vice president for Xbox, was in a new interview with the Rolling Stone where she brought up the company's possible plan to have ads inside games. Yes. You heard me right, advertisements inside of games. Similar to how there's ads inside, you know, mobile games. Ads inside games that already put a strain on your wallet for $69 could possibly now put a strain on your time by forcing ads on you. Yeah, this smoking crack. But seriously, in all fairness, she only mentioned the idea and speculating on the company's ongoing brainstorming to see if it could work. But even in just mentioning this, rightfully upset Xbox users on social media when the interview was published. Users have gone on to lay out plans for a possible boycott if this scenario would have happened, with people saying that they'll start selling their Xbox if ads are forced upon games. People explain that plaguing their console with even more ads when they already get them from just the opening dashboard on the console is just unnecessary and downright unfair given how poorly the company already operates. And they are completely right. A few months ago, I made a video on a Microsoft patent for games having ads, and I was just hoping that, you know, it was just a throwaway ad given how dumb the idea was, but to see it spring up again does make me concerned for the company's direction in the future. But the sad reality of the whole situation is that while this is a really, you know, idiotic scheme to put on paid games, it's just not a Microsoft thing. Many companies and developers toy with this idea behind closed doors due to the fact that advertisements pay a lot of money to get their brand across, except on my channel because, you know, I get paid pennies for the ads that y'all see. So I wouldn't be surprised if in the near future we see this form of advertisement become, you know, more and more prevalent as companies look for more ways to get money. I mean, we already kind of see it in some form with the biggest games right now. I mean, look at Fortnite. That game is literally a walking advertisement without many people even realizing it, but the only difference is the gameplay is structured around it, so it kind of works. But these ads Microsoft talks about won't be more than the annoying 5 second ad that you try to get away from every day. So we'll just have to wait and see what the future holds for ads inside of games. Hopefully it's just a bad idea that remains, you know, an idea, but there's no telling what the way that we're going. So what do you guys think about ads inside of games, man? Feel free to leave a comment down below. And as always, if you like on the video, subscribe, check out the Patreon if you're interested. You know, we got some bangers over there. And I'll see you on the next one.